Are we still an apprentice duelist? Okay. We have a good win-loss ratio still. I'm, I'm just wondering what we're going to do for the rest of the day. I mean, we get our allowance. Oops, too far, too far, too far. Yeah, we get our allowance, so I guess we'll just duel everyone that we can find, and I guess we're going to be good. Maybe an event will come up. Maybe that's what I'm waiting for the most, is having a special event come up to where all of a sudden I can rank up. And by the way, I did a little bit of research. There are hidden events in this game. When we dueled our teacher to get back up to Apprentice Duelist, that was a special event. I had no idea, and I'm glad we did it because I didn't want to be the dropout. Speaking of dropouts, Chumley, you're my first victim for today. There he goes again, just talking about, hey, we're both in Slifer Red, that means I can duel you. And probably win. Uh-huh. We'll see about that. This'll... This'll also be kind of like a more chill stream. I kind of lost my gosh dang mind last time because I could not believe what was happening. But now, I'm cool. I'm chill. I'm the cool duelist that all the first years want to be like. Like a new kid comes into Obelisk the Blue, they see me in Slife of Red, and they're like, I want to be like that guy. That guy right there has got it going on. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool. I swear I'm cool. I really don't want to set my Slate Warrior. It's gonna die to a nimble Momonga, of all things. It surprisingly did not die to a trap hole. So I'm going to assume he has a trap that helps out his monsters. Or a mirror force just to destroy my butt. Okay, good start, good start. I would like to get out Buster Blader. That was our new card that I added to the deck last time, and I really want to give it a shot. Gaiaku Gaia Panda. Alright, bringing out the Pot of Greed. Nice. One face down. Okay. Oh, there is not a lot that we can do right now. Definitely not a lot we can do right now. He's probably going to summon a big monster. Uh, I kind of want to let him so my copycat has something to actually use. Okay, Death Wombat. Okay. I couldn't remember the effect of the panda. I should probably look at that before I lose my Aquamador. Heavy Storm is good. Alright, let's see. 500 points for every monster on your opponent's side of the field, and this card attacks. Okay, so it's got piercing. And as long as I just... As long as I keep Aquamador out, I think we're okay. Let me bait out a Magic Jammer. No, oh, no Magic Jammer, huh. Alright. I've got nothing. <laughs> That's not good. That's pretty bad. That's even worse. Oh, that's that's very worse. Oh, I'm going to take a lot of damage. No. My cool nature. Done for now. Okay. We gotta bring this back. 
go ahead and use a little one of these. What were those, actually? I'm curious. Torrential Tribute and Magic Cylinder. Oh, Cool Duelist does not abide. Cool Duelist thinks, no, we're not going to do that. In fact, we're going to do that so... We're going to not do that so much that we're going to get rid of our action unit in order to get back our single defensive monster. <laughs> Actually, if I bring out Slate Warrior, he has nothing that he can do. And then if I put Book of Moon face down, I might be able to last another turn. Yeah, he doesn't have Gaia power anymore, so I could just deal with his panda because that's the biggest threat. Whew. Okay. And now we wait. Summon something big. That is not something big. Oh, it's gonna ask me every single time he does something. You know, I like how they did quick spells in Master Duel. Where it would basically pause, and it doesn't constantly ask you, do you want to activate, do you want to activate? It just pauses. And that gives your opponent a chance to actually play what they want to play. Okay. 16 and 300. I think we can work with that. I know I said I was going to save Copycat, but I've got Tribute to the Doomed now, so I'm okay with it. Let's go ahead and copy a Wombat. And finally start clearing his board. I should not be in this backed into a corner predicament. I'm the cool duelist, darn it. I don't get backed into a corner. That actually just makes me sound like an a legit Yu-Gi-Oh villain. I'm not one that gets backed into a corner. It is I that backs you into a corner. I flip fiber jar. Reset the duel. Sorry, my Yu-Gi-Oh! villain came out. There we go, the music changed back. It now knows that I am in a safe spot. Archfiend Soldier! Ooh! I can work with that so much! And you know, I just thought of something funny. If I flip his Nimble Momonga face down, it'll be destroyed and its effect won't be activated. Which means he doesn't get life points back, and also he doesn't summon another one. That sounds pretty funny. Sweet. And now the Quick Play spell won't keep bugging me. Destroy! 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 Nice! And now we deal with everything else on the field, hopefully... Yeah! Wait! They got destroyed?! What do you mean?! Oh... Oh. That's actually a rude effect. Holy crap, that's mean. Oh, yeah, I need to get you out of here. Jeez. I lost my copycat to a kangaroo. Oh, man. Ooh, zombie. 
All right, here we go. Back on the upswing. I was really hoping Chumley wouldn't get the drop on me. He hasn't. At least that's what I'm going with. Bringing it back. Ah, he's bringing out hyenas. If he has them. Nailed it. Yes! Kicking the guitars! I can't be beaten! You know, now that I've dueled a lot of the Slifer Reds over and over again, I've actually started to figure out how their AI works. Like, I knew he wasn't going to attack Sasuke Samurai, because it's within the AI's best interest to go to defense mode. This isn't going to save him. In fact, I... I didn't win, because I lost Zombie Red to a freaking trap hole. <sighs> cool duelist abides. And the Yu-Gi-Oh! Seer. I still need to make that emo, by the way. I think I know exactly how I'm going to do it. There is a there is a spell card I think in Magician's Force of a wizard looking over a crystal ball, and I kind of I kind of want to put like a trap hole graphic in there. I think that would be pretty funny. Maybe do a couple variants every now and again of like Mirror Force in one, Torrential Tribute in another. Just <laughs> Niskel Thomas being able to activate at a moment's notice. Yeah, exactly. Having a special event where you can rechange, or that you can actually just change your ranking is very nice, because I don't think our next exam is until our next year. Alright, I'm hopefully just going to go ahead and win. Yep, I win. Yay! An attempt was made, Chumley. It didn't work. I should have stayed in bed. I felt that this morning. I woke up after a really bad night of trying to fall asleep. Man, when I woke up, I was like, I really don't want to do anything today. But streaming was was in the back of my mind going like, I really want to do it because I haven't seen chat in what seems like a year. What game do I like that doesn't need a remake? Um, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. Uh, I'll actually think about that. I mean, technically Pikmin 3 Deluxe didn't need a remake, but it got it. Oh, uh, you know what? It's been a while. I will say, if Capcom just loses their mind and releases uh, Resident Evil Remake Remake. I might lose a little faith in them. I mean, if it goes over the shoulder third person, yeah, to each their own, but Resident Evil Remake, in my mind, is the perfect game and one of the best representations of Resident Evil ever made. I mean, yeah, a lot of people will say, oh, 4 is the best, but Nah, Resident Evil Remake, it stays in my heart forever. Like a virus. The team! Okay. Ooh, hello. Black Pendant? Oh, I've got some bad news for you, dude. You're... You are not gonna have a good time. Ouch. Thank God you don't have RE4 bias. I was about to say RE4. <laughs> it didn't re need a remake, but that was my attitude before it got remade. How about you have a version of the Crystal Ball has a monster spell and trap? Uh, 
that could work. It definitely sounds interesting. I don't know if I have enough emote slots for that, but I'll take a look at it. Alright, I guess I'll just go die. Well... Can't block that, can ya? Yeah. That's what I thought, Banner. Oh yeah. Apparently there is a special event in this game where you get to fight Banner's cat. Pharaoh? I wanna do that. I wanna do that. Um, Mirror Force. I dislike everything. Okay. Holy crap, he doesn't have a hand anymore. He can only count to five. Alright, what can we do here? I mean... RE4 is more action than horror, but it still has horrific elements. Like, you can't tell me you weren't a little skeeved out when you heard a regenerator breathe for the first time. Or when another trap hole? Or when Mr. Chainsawman came out of nowhere and just like, Oh, hi, you're trying to escape? Uh-uh. I will say, uh... Th Banner... What the fuck are you doing? Good lord. The regenerator was the only good thing about the game. Nope. <laughs> A, an actual factually wrong statement. Oh, let's see, trap hole number three. Oh my god! <laughs> Oops, all trap cards. Another Magician of Faith? Oh wait, no, I sent it back to the hand. No, it got Torrential Tributed! You used two Magicians of Faith without using their effects! Chainsaw Man, I can end his existence with an RPG or broken butterfly? Not in a brand new file, mate. You still gotta learn to fight back before you can get to those good things. Alright, well, let's try this again. Do we have a second Torrential Tribute? No? Surprising! Alright. Magic Cylinder or Negate Attack? Let's see it. Or both. Okay. Tonight, emote. <laughs> that way people can spam it. I'll even make it one of the free ones. Why would you do... This guy! I mean, he, he claims that, you know, this is why I'm the teacher and you're the student. Nuking your own trap card! So you can put a Magician of Faith in defense mode that you didn't use! What the hell are you doing?! Okay. Okay. Well, at least he's got nothing else in the field. So that's good. At the very least, I can just knock this guy out. I mean, I don't have much on the field anymore. Yeah, especially if he summons a monster and kills one of my goblins. I've got backups. 
all he had was Magician of Faith. Oh, no guitars. One face down card. Fantastic. Oh, hey. Free card. Do tribe infecting virus for that third trap hole. Ooh, it didn't happen. Nice. On the upswing. Here we go. I don't think I've ever seen Banner just kind of deck out this badly. Uh, almost guaranteed that's a magic jammer since he hasn't used one yet. Yeah, like, all he's gotten are Magicians of Faith and Trap Holes and, you know, all the fetch traps. School of Hard Knocks for Slifer Reds, jeez. Oh, hey, we win. The math checks out. Okay, so we have almost taken out the entirety of Slifer Red in one day. If we can find Cyrus and quickly kick his ass, then we'll take out Jaden tomorrow. And that's it. At least until Blair Flanagan shows up, that's all a slifer red. Woo! Acceptable results. Didn't get nearly as much money as I could have. I think in order to duel Pharaoh, uh, his cat, you need to beat all the other Slifer Reds ten times. And win, obviously, but uh, then when you talk to Banner uh, in his room, that's when he goes, Oh, do you want to duel my cat? Yes, Blair is in this game. Confirmed. There's also a few other characters that are in this game that I shall not spoil. But if you have seen Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, you know exactly who they are. Is anybody up at the volcano? No? Nobody in the girls' dorm either. Wow, nobody is around here. Alright, Jaden. said Chainsaw Man, I thought about the anime before the anime. Yeah. I want to make a joke, but I know nothing about Chainsaw Man, so I'm not going to attempt it. Oh, ew, using... Using the Japanese name instead of the Americanized Funima- uh, for- eh. I almost said Funimation. Four kids name? Ugh! Nah, I'm just kidding. Hello there. We have been systematically destroying all of Slifer Red, and as soon as you showed up, Snatch Deal started showing up. You stole my Archfiend. I stole your monster. Shoot, I didn't want to do that. Uh, we'll summon Spear Dragon. Do you think them making RE4 Remake had something to do with the lawsuit Capcom got hit with? I don't even know what lawsuit you're talking about. <laughs> Uh, negate attack. Yay! <laughs> Neat. You got me curious now. You magic jammed an upstart goblin? 
All right. Give us the TLDR, Sims. And hopefully it's not just all speculation. Yeah, got me curious. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh! Tragedy. Yeah, I'm okay with my Spear Dragon going to defense. You know, I just realized a big flaw in my deck is I have multiple monsters that go to defense mode with zero defense. As long as I have a way to defend them for the amount of turns it takes. Wow, still in defense mode. Not your best tactic, Jay. Because this is gonna hurt. Unless it's a clay man. But I don't think it is. It's worse. Worse than a claim, man, I should say. Alright, goblins will be coming up. Apparently some of the textures used in RE4 original was stolen from some photographer's book. How many years did that go unnoticed? did not. Cheated. Are you trying to speed up the process of losing? Oh, well, get rid of the face down card and then we're good. Perfect. Wow, that was probably the cleanest I have ever beaten Jaden. He had no chance. See, now you got me curious, Sims, because use, using it as a texture, if it was 100% a copied photograph used as a texture in a game, if they're not in the credits, that's... that can be copyright claimed. Was it indistinguishable, or... Are we talking blatant? Maybe it was a test image? I have actually never heard of this. But I doubt that's the reason they remade it. I think they remade it because money. 